Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. I'm starting with two of the Dollar Tree wood boxes. I'm going to start by removing the little boxes from the inside and then I'm going to glue the two smaller boxes together using wood glue and a little bit of hot glue. Then I'm going to glue the other boxes on the sides and I forgot to use wood glue for this so I only use hot glue. The way I glue the boxes where the smaller ones are going to be a little bit higher than the ones on the side. And they look like this so you can either use them up like this or the other way around. I then went ahead and stained this using the Cabot stain from Lowe's. I really, really, really love this color. I did stain most of it, including a little bit of the inside because I wasn't sure what side I was going to use. So I decided to use it like this because I remember I had this little home sign that I got from Dollar Tree a while back. And it was stained with the Waverly Antique Wax, but I painted it white and kind of dry brushed it because I wanted some of that brown to still peek through. Then I glued it to the front. Now to decorate it, I used some of these little craft bottles that I got from Dollar Tree a while back and I painted them white. I did use these in some of my previous videos. I actually glued the lid underneath both of them but I had removed it out of one so I couldn't find it so I just add jungle blocks so like that they can be even. Now you can add whatever to the center you can add a candle any decor sign or just leave it blank. And that is it for this beautiful decor riser display. Before I move on with my next DIY, I do want to show you the two DIYs I submitted for the Creative Championship Contest that is hosted by Heidi Sumble. And if you want to see how I created this, just go to the link down in the description box. Plus, you get to choose who's your favorite and who moves to the last round. For my next DIY, I will be using one of these Dollar Tree planters. These come three in a pack and I'm going to paint it using some white chalk paint. I then mix the Waverly chalk paint and elephant with some antique wax and then I dry brushed it on the top part where the designs are and a little bit at the bottom. I just wanted the designs to show more on the planter. By the way, I had used this planter in one of my previous video where I did the little lemon tree. I ended up not using this little pot so I decided to use it for this. So as you can see there is some of the floral foam inside. I couldn't take it out because it is already glued in there so I just left it. The next thing I will be using is one of these balls that I got from Dollar Tree. They are the floral balls or I think that's what they're called. But anyways, I am going to use a score stick so like that I can attach it to the bottom. I then decided to paint the ball green using the Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color tropical. I only painted it just because I am going to add some boxwood greenery and just in case I miss like a little spot. It will be green instead of white. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Now while this is drying, I am going to cut the boxwood greenery. And the boxwood greenery I'm using is from Walmart. 
I am going to cut each stem in half. Once it is dry, I'm going to start adding the greenery. Now, because it got a little bit hard because of the paint, I am going to use a score stick to make holes. And then I'm going to add glue to the greenery and then add it inside the hole. Like that, it is going to last. I want to show you that I didn't glue any of the greenery at the bottom because you cannot see it once it is inside the little bucket. I mean planter, not bucket, it's a planter. But that is it guys, that is it for this topiary. The last thing I did was just went around and if I seen like a little empty spot, I added some greenery. For my next DIY, I wanted to create something that can go on the shelf that I made for the contest. So I am using this piece of wood that I already had by Hobby Lobby or Lowe's or Home Depot have wood that you can use. Even Dollar Tree has little wood squares. But I am using this one that I already had. Now I'm using some stickers. These stickers I got them from Michaels. They were on sale for a dollar. So I am going to use them as stencils. I'm going to put the word family. I then painted this using some white chalk paint. I did make sure I didn't paint it perfect. I still wanted some of the wood to peek through. I then let it dry just a little bit and then I removed the stickers. This is my favorite part. It is so satisfying. I then decided to add some of these little transfer stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. I am going to cut two of the little leaf pattern ones and put them on each corner. And that is it for this decor sign. I think it turned out adorable and it looks so nice on the shelf. And that is it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i do want to thank everyone who has voted for me and thank you thank you so much for all the love and support i am so thrilled that i made it to round three now don't forget to go to the link down in the description box so you can watch the hop and so you can vote for your favorite diy now thank you so much for watching and until next time bye